Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizingNews.com. Today is December 1st, 2016. Continuing to report about the global economic slowdown, recession, depression, collapse. Venezuela, the socialist communist country, is facing hyperinflation and economic collapse. Report out of Zero Hedge. Venezuela braces for hyperinflation as merchants weigh mountains of cash instead of counting it. For anyone still curious what hyperinflation in real time looks like, here is a visual answer. And you can see the value going straight up on this chart, which is actually going down. Venezuela bolivars per dollar. It takes, what, 3500 Bolivars for one dot dollar on the black market FX rate. As shtfpplan.com Mark Salvo notes, Venezuela is deep into the death spiral and things are likely to get worse before they get better. Wheelbarrows full of fiat paper currency right here as the south american nations paper currency continues to lose value with each passing day the people of venezuela are forced to carry piles of cash just to buy basic goods and services with many merchants now literally weighing the next to worthless cash rather than wasting time to count it clearly this does not bode well Venezuela continues to repeat the mistakes of other failed states as its currency comes dangerously close to an all-out hyperinflation, as has happened in Zimbabwe and the Weimar Republic in Germany. Via the UK Independent, inflation in Venezuela is expected to reach 720% this year with the largest Bolveri, Bol, Bolivia bill now worth just five U.S. cents on the black market. Some shopkeepers have reportedly taken to weighing rather than counting the wads of cash customers hand them and standard size wallets have become all but useless in the socialist South American state. Instead, many people stuff huge volumes of cash into handbags, money belts, or backpacks in scenes analysts have said are suggestive of runaway inflation. Herberto Gonzalez, who runs a delicatessen in the city, said he uses the same scales to weigh slices of salty white cheese and the stacks of bolviar notes handed over by his customers it's sad at this point i think the cheese is worth more when they start weighing cash it's a sign of runaway inflation he said but venezuelans don't know just how bad it is because the government refuses to publish figures that's what you get in a communist socialist state for several years now, President Maduro opted to continue printing more and more cash as a means of dealing with the oil crisis and the collapsing value, value of the Venezuela state's currency. And as a result, the money just isn't worth much at all. The printing press simply cannot save the country from a death spiral, but it doesn't mean Maduro is prepared to let go of power. He has maintained that Venezuela's problems are due to economic welfare, being warfare being waged by the United States to topple the oil-rich socialist regime. Bremer Rodriguez who runs a bakery on the outskirts of Caracas, said his family are at a loss over what to do with their bags full of bills. It's a mountain of cash every day, more and more. The shrinking value of the currency has meant that withdrawing the equivalent of 
five pounds from an ATM produces a fistful of more than 100 bills. Some ATMs now need to be refilled every three hours because the machines can only hold so much cash. This means there are often a limited number of functioning ATMs in Caracas and long queues to withdraw money. Venezuela is scheduled to reissue the currency at higher denominations, but it is unclear how much that will help the large problems that the country faces. Maduro has attempted to stave off collapse and avoid the inevitable by, by ruling with an iron fist. As a result, the people have been forced to endure incredibly long lines to buy food rations. Everyday life has been disrupted in every possible way as crime and poverty have taken a toll on the population. Food shortages and inflated black market prices for staples, meat, and other necessities have driven many to poach stray animals for food and take other desperate measures. Malnutrition is becoming a rampant problem and the health of society in general is at a very stressed point. As Sean Bradley reported, life in Venezuela now consists of empty grocery stores, record rates of violent crime, and widespread shortages of just about everything. The economic and political conditions have been deteriorating for years, but recent stories coming from one from this once rich nation are astonishing. Bars have run out of beer, McDonald's can't get buns for Big Macs, and rolling blackouts are a regular occurrence. The average person spends over 35 hours a month waiting in line to buy their rationed goods. And even basics like toilet paper and toothpaste are strictly regulated. Jason Marzak, director of the Latin American Economic Growth Initiative, spoke about the crisis. He said, when people are liter literally going hungry and children are dying at birth because they aren't because there aren't the right medical supplies when basic things like Tylenol aren't even available this causes a huge amount of angst in the population so there you have it Venezuela under the communist socialist state rule of Maduro and before that Hugo Chavez is collapsing due to hyperinflation. People can't get basic medical supplies. They can't get staple foods. They can't get meat. They can't get medicine. There's rolling blackouts. Babies are dying. Born in cardboard boxes. They're having to haul wheelbarrows of cash to go buy basic goods. This is what happens in a socialist communist state it ultimately leads to collapse because they devalue the currency through hyperinflation do your own research about the failures of socialism and communism and why they need to be denounced subscribe to this channel speak out and take action and pray for the venezuelan people that they can overthrow the corrupt socialist regime in charge and restore some type of semblance to a civilized society.